Welcome to my channel, this is your host Mark Manon, and today we are going to begin our Medieval 2 Britannia campaign. So, and we are going to play as Ireland. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to make this playthrough somewhat casual, so just hard difficulty, battle, just, we'll just leave the battle difficulty at, at medium. Um, I simply can't deal with any stupid stuff at the moment um, where because as you know uh, in Total War difficulty doesn't make the AI more difficult it just makes the AI's troop stats better which is just stupid so no um, I hate sieges um, and in sieges tactics don't matter only stats which means that I suck so medium difficult it is now uh, I'm just gonna read for you the uh, introduction and then we're gonna start the campaign so let's do it yeah and we're gonna do it in my ear there in my dearest Irish voice as you can hear so England's invasion of Ireland which began some hundred years ago is still well underway English lords have now divided up sections of their Irish conquests among themselves, each ruling a section mostly independently, as their king now focuses his attention on issues closer to home. The Irish chieftains have determined their best chance of driving the English from their lands is to throw their supports behind one man, fellow chieftain Brian O'Connor, who they have recently appointed High King of Ireland. As their English overlords are now longer unified, the Irish people ready themselves for conflict under the banner of their new king. Confident that once they reclaim their own lands, they are more than capable of taking the fight to England and beyond. So yeah, um, that's it. Um, the campaign begins, as you see, at 1258. And 1258 is actually the year that the Irish revolt began. Um, as well as a huge, uh, probably the third baron uprising in England. Um, we are fighting Henry III and his father King John uh, was met by the first uh, of the baron, the baron um, rebellions and it's actually during that rebellion that the Magna Carta was written. But anyways, um, let's begin the campaign. Yes. So we shall. Um, also, uh, before we begin, quick thing about the Irish faction. We're, we're going to talk about it during the campaign, but they are actually a charging faction, an attacking faction. They have, um, they don't really have any spare units. They're not good at holding at all. Um, so their weakness is actually cavalry and uh, archery because they don't have very good armor, um, especially these guys who have other strong points. But we'll talk about that in the campaign. So. I'll see you there. Britannia, a land of emerald isles, a land of kings, a land of war. England. King Henry sits upon a hungry throne, thirsty for more land. The Norwegians, warriors happy to pay the blood price for their ambitions. Scotland. From the highlands and across the lowlands comes a spirited people ready for battle. Wales. A people of song and sword and leaders that will bend their knees to no man. And Ireland. Suspicious of his neighbors, the Irish warrior never sleeps, though he dreams. Britannia. One realm. Five kings. Total war. So, here we are. This is Ireland, the Emerald Isles. Now, um, the, the Britannia campaign comes with many additions. Among them is actually these uh, permanent forts. Um, that are placed in strategic locations, um, like here for example. 
as you can see, there is a, uh, a shore crossing, there's a river crossing just behind it, meaning that if you hold this, the English can't uh, fortify Derry at all. Also, as it is in, in, in English soil, if you have troops stationed in a fort in enemy lands, that fort will co cause devastation and a lot of devastation as well, making the forts key uh, locations. So yeah. Uh, now, um, one thing I want to show you. These people, these soldiers, they don't look like much, do they? No, no, no. Like, they have just a little clothing, just a chucking spear. But look at these, right? So they have a missile attack of nine. <laughs> the usual um, javelin attack in Medieval 2 is 7, they have 9, and the, their melee attack is 12. Um, so yeah, uh, these peop the, these troops are beasts. No armor, uh, pretty bad defense in total, but godly attack. Uh, and a very good charge as well at 6. I think that is the same as... that's more than, like, than... Irish medium cavalry, <laughs> so they're pretty good. Uh, but basically, this description is: I, I, I like these troops. I really like the Daisy javelinmen. The Daisy are native tribesmen. Uh, sorry, the Daisy are the Daisy are native tribesmen who have lived in Ireland for centuries. They are hardy and trained in the ways of war, having defended their lands from numerous Viking invasions. Armed with a javelin and a shillelagh. The Daisy Javelinmen are just as effective at range as they are in close combat. Hmm? As we saw. Uh, another addition, two more additions in the, this campaign. Um, I will get on with the um, gameplay I, soon, I promise. Um, culture. Um, there's no religion, as all are Catholic. I mean, what would be, would, what would be the point? Instead, there is culture, and the buildings that spread culture are churches. But here's the thing, uh, the, uh, the culture matters because it unlocks troops. For example, here, if I'm correct, yeah. Because there is 20% British culture here in Lifford, I have access to a basic English troop. And we're actually going to train one of them, because soon the culture is going to run out, and then no more English troops for me. Additionally, uh, yeah, actually up here, here, uh, there are special characters like King Brian. They uh, they have high attack. Like uh, they're actually good, better. Like you what? see, King Brian here has a special character. Uh, he also has a, a special character model. He also has one in battle. Um, and while we begin let's see we're gonna have to yes, use like the it. spy pretty well and if i'm not correct yeah uh, they have at the moment my spies have like they a 50 percent success rate sire, making them no not this that day. super good i mean they're still useful At your service. but i don't want to get them killed so i'm just going to place Moving them quietly and try to use them to uh, scout important locations like this, for example, um, here in Meth. Yes, my king. They shall not see me, sire. These dismounted fuel knights, they are a powerful troop, especially this early in the campaign, so they're, they're gonna be Aye. an issue. Aye, a second oh. smile. Quietly approach. At your service. Who do you want dead, my lord? A first um, goal is actually going to be to take Ulster here because it's fairly isolated. I mean, uh, they do have access, uh, they're connected with Meth, but between Meth and Ulster, or, or Derry rather, there's a fort. And we're gonna buy some mercenaries. So I'm gonna use that stronghold to My fortify king. myself. Aye, on we're on. gonna build up a, an attacking force. And we're gonna send these people 
They'll be begging for Today. their lives soon. March! Like so. Um, Set watches. We rest here. We're actually gonna... We're also gonna build a few things. Um, for example, Lifford is my only castle, so we're actually gonna upgrade it immediately, just to uh, strengthen it. Don Patrick is kind of uh, isolated, but also it's one of my most prosperous cities. To begin with, um, I actually have a church here, meaning that we're gonna lose what English culture we have soon. So we are going to build English billmen while we can, and some daisy javelin. We're gonna build a blacksmith, just so we have access to uh, some more armor, because I can't really build anything for defense, so yeah. Here in Trippery, we're gonna build some farms. And lastly, in Cork, we're gonna build some mines and strengthen it with some troops because we desperately need to. Um, and I think I can afford it as well. Yeah, some Daisy Javelin. They're just so yes, darn Mikey. good and useful, so yeah. Let's send the spy there. Moving quietly. Um, before I think I've done everything I can, um, we're going to try and um, uh, and garrison all these forts because all of them provide two free upkeep. Um, so yeah, we can um, for we can garrison them without too much cost. I lord, my king, march. Combining the armies, sire. Onward! Okay. Lastly, um, Aye. before I end the turn, I'm just gonna <laughs> say something quickly. Um, this character, King Brian, uh, in the faction description that I read, in my beautiful, my beautiful Irish accent, um, is called Brian O'Connor. But that's actually not true. He was actually called Brian O'Neill. Uh, he was, though it is disputed because um, there was a very famous battle some, somewhere around here, uh, fifth, uh, 1260, what? Uh, where Brian was killed, <coughs> sorry, along with a host of very important Irish chieftains. Um, these guys, here, Thormund, um, here, the O'Briens. From Thormund, they were supposed to uh, reinforce, but they didn't, and therefore it is disputed whether all Irish chieftains recognized um, Brian O'Neill as king or not. Uh, but basically, because <laughs> because the O'Briens didn't reinforce the, this very important battle against the English, the Irish lost, and Brian O'Neill was killed. So historically, he was only high king if he ever was for two years um, but we're actually going to try and change that so in this playthrough <laughs> Brian is not going to die um, so yeah anyways I'll see you next time have a good one Sure, you can marry. We are losing money at the moment. Hmm. You have to stop recruiting troops somehow. There's two there. Two there. Can I even? I probably can move through the forest. Yeah, there's, that's light forest, I think. Aye! Aye! Forward! Aye! Join up! Aye! Yeah, that, that army should be enough to uh, take this. Stopping city. here. Then we can send them southwards to deal with any you other are not my trouble we face. What? Like this here Come army. And get me, you 
coward. An enemy to crush. Aye, Lord. Move out. Actually, send one of them in there. Um, that will save us some expenditure. As you can see, we're not losing as much. Command me. Oh yeah, we're also going to train merchants. Merchants are good to have. Very good to have. Like so. Let's buy. We're, we're going to have to recruit more troops. Let's recruit a merchant instead. Because Don Patrick is just so darn isolated. Who do you want dead, my lord? At your service. They shall not see me. Be gone. You are not my lord. I will only address you in battle. <laughs> So the council nobles wants us to take the Isle of Islay. <laughs> Why not? We like whiskey. What? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna move southwards and attack this army. Aye. Who needs a second smile? And we'll try and assassinate is it Captain Brown. A Bryan. person or a place, then, sire. Uh, also, um, for your information, uh, in this playthrough, I'm going to include the um, the the assassination and uh, spy uh, uh, videos. So, if you don't like them, you can skip them. But yeah, sorry. Ah! What? Okay, no video. <laughs> Lucky you, I guess. Who do you want? Come and get me, you coward. Be gone. You are not my... Come and get me, you coward. If I can destroy this army, that will you free me up so ridiculous yes, much. King. Because I'm under quite some pressure at the moment. Merchant at your service. Go and Opening trade. Opening a new trade lane, sire. Silver, good. You here? Merchant well, at your service. More silver or seventy-one, seventy. Cold. I'll not be going any further today. And you, merchant at your service. What dies? Yes. Opening a new trade lane, sire. Maybe. Merchant at your service. One hundred and five, eighty-four. So basically, merchant at your you're service. just so good. <laughs> at your service. That's actually very. Good. How about Merchant this? at your service. Two hundred and fifty-six. We'll try and get the maximum Merchant amount at your of service. Um, benefits from our merchants. We just have to find the better. Yeah, you're going to trade textiles. I've travelled as far as I can today, sire. You're currently Merchant trading at silver. Your service. You're going to trade silver for this uh, turn only. But after that, where are we going to send you? Maybe silver is the best. Yeah, you're going to trade silver. Aye. Who needs a second smile? Now, now I'm actually go, uh, earning money again. Aye, my king. Now we're gonna lose money. We're gonna prepare an attacking force to take Athenry. 
Aye. Forward! We march no further today. Aye, Lord. My king. Aye, my lady. I can. Bringing the men together, sire. By your will, sire, we shall engage. Move out! Merging armies, well. sire. We lost some free upkeep, but hopefully we're going to get a castle from this. Can I recruit any more billmen? No. So I'll, I only have two billmen, but that'll have to do. Let's end the town. Here begins Who do you want first. dead, my lord? We'll actually try and murder Aye, the current sire. captain just because Who of it. Or what needs removing, sire? Okay. Hmm. Aye. Has life ends today, sire? I will only address you in battle. Aye. Aye, lord. Aye. Forward. Aye. Closing in the enemy. There, good. I just wanted to get them into position and they refused to, so. How to make do some trickery. Uh, now, we will destroy this English army. You are not my liege. We shall slaughter them, sire. But this will actually be in the next episode.